wananchi wote wa Jamhuri ya Kenya popote mnaposkiliza e, taarifa hizi kwa machina mimi ninaitwa mheshimiwa Kipruto Kimosop e, MCA wa Mchongoi na vile vile mwakilishi MCS wa Notrit katika kavani ya committee wa CAF tumeitisha mkutano huu kuweza kuzungumzia yale ambayo yamefanyika leo jana tulikuwa na uamusi mkubwa sana wa mahakama kuhusu mchakato wa BBI kuhusu mchakato wa kubadilisha katiba na kwa kawaida wakati swala la kitaifa kama hii ambayo charges wenyewe walisema ni swala lililo na e, interest kubwa sana kutoka kwa wananchi kwa kimombo wanaliita public interest ni kwa kawaida kwamba kutatarajia watu wengine watafurahi na watu wengine watahusunika wale wenye watahusunika watahusunika kwa taratibu yao ya kuhusunika na wale wenye watasherekea ama wale watafurahia pia watafurahia kwa taratibu yenye watafurahia jambo ambalo limetushangaza ni kwamba wakati wananchi wa Baringo leo walipochitokeza kwa furaha kufurahia uamusi wa mahakama wa taifa hili la Kenya polisi wakatumwa tiakas ikamulikwa kwao ika I amini mean, kapikwa kwao na makosa yao tu ni kujitokeza kufurahia em, kufurahia uamusi wa mahakama kwa hivyo tumeitisha hii mkutano kusema namna hii kwamba that is not the Kenya this is not the Kenya that we want the Kenya that we want is a Kenya that respects freedom freedoms freedom to be happy freedom to express themselves freedom to celebrate okay in this case we everybody knows that baringo people as in baringo county assembly we overwhelmingly voted against this ppi document we rejected it we were the first assembly to reject it and for many times we endured ridicule being seen as the only county assembly and later we were joined by Elkeo Marakweta and Nandi only three of us we were ridiculed that you know we we seemed not to have read this document properly we seemed not to have uh, uh, watched or looked at the tide when our conscience and our conviction was clear to us that this document had violated the tenets of constitutionalism and constitutional making process So when yesterday judges of the high court vindicated us as human beings as citizens we had all the right to celebrate we had all the right to express ourselves and we our people spontaneously without mobilization without any plan poured to the streets of Kabarnet to celebrate this landmark ruling of the of the of the of the high court of the republic of Kenya and the same fellows the so called deep state guys had the audacity to lobby to lob cans uh, uh, tiakas canstas on our people even even when 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 the high court yesterday found the president of the republic of kenya to have violated the constitution we still has we still have the audacity to lob tiakas canstas to the citizens of this country whose only mistake is to come forward express themselves and celebrate a ruling a landmark ruling a ruling that has attracted international support international attention so we have come forward to say that we will not accept the effort to use police to use security forces to intimidate us to intimidate citizens and this is not the Kenya we want
And I want to advise our security officers here. Nobody is above the law. You even saw yesterday that now the President of the Republic of Kenya, his immunity to be sued has been lifted. He can now be sued in any court of the Republic of Kenya. And, and you still want to start now uh, accepting instructions, illegal instructions here and there, that one will not be acceptable. And we want to tell Wafula to the face, Baringo County belongs to us. You are a civil servant. And you are here to serve us. You are not our boss. You are not our master. And we owe you no apology. Our people owe you no apology. And when your time ends, or your time ends, you will pack and leave Baringo. So don't think because of this gerrymandering of having power around and uh, flying around here, you think you can now intimidate us, including elected leaders of this country. And Wafula, our patience is running out. Your behavior borders on disrespect, borders on unprofessionalism, and it does not meet the tenets of the civil service court. Up to now, as the chair of county security committee, you have not told us, your committee has not told us, who lobbied Tiakas canisters to the county assembly of the people of Baringo. That the, our own, the representatives of the people of Baringo could be Tiakas inside the assembly. And you think, Wafula, we will, we will chicken out and we will hide ourselves because uh, you are the county commissioner. Really? Because you are the county commissioner. When history is uh, littered with men and women who stood up against the dictators, who stood up against the apartheid, who stood up against the much more powerful men than you. Actually, do you even think that um, being a county commissioner is anything that you can use it to intimidate people and uh, blackmail people and all this kind of thing. So I want to tell you, Afula, as long as we belong to Paringo, and as long as we are leaders in Paringo, we will not be cowed down. We will not be intimidated. And you are a big shame to the President of the Republic of Kenya. It's unfortunate that you go all over quoting instructions from the President, misusing the name of the President everywhere, pretending that you are so connected to the president of the Republic of... You are assuming the president. You are assuming the president of this country. You are quoting the name of the president in vain. And we will not tire to tell you to your face that you are a servant. You are a civil servant. And you can only serve us as a civil servant. And, and uh, unfortunately, what is even your job in Baringo, by the way? Wafola. Except, except bragging that you have had conversations with Gideon Moy and all these uh, Kano friends of yours. What is, what is your other duty in this county? What have you done? My own word has had insecurity problems over and over. We are relying more on the regional commissioner than you. You are ashamed to the regional commissioner. You are ashamed to the president of this country. You are ashamed to everybody. And you still think you can deny us our legitimate celebration. So, Wafula, uh, cool down. Cool down. This country belongs to all of us. You are not a better government operative than elected leaders who are also serving in the same government. So, cool down. Pride and arrogance will not take you anywhere, and pride comes before a fall. Thank you. <coughs> Asante sana. <coughs> Sande mashimu kama sop kwa masuku bihaya mazito and um, I've just come in to to hype and support what my colleague has said that we are here to condemn in strongest terms the the act of the security forces dispersing a peaceful gathering today which we just gathered today spontaneously just to celebrate the, the ruling of the irregularity and the illegal process of BBI. My name is Silas Tochim. I represent the Board of Pegas in Baringo Central. 
And just as my colleague said, the meeting we had today was spontaneous. We did not plan, we did not invite people. People just came out. And it was not only in Cabernet. It was not only in Baringo. <coughs> the, the celebration mood was all over the country. It could be witnessed and evidenced by celebration and communication through the night. Personally, I slept past midnight at around 2 because I was just enjoying reading the comments and you know, learning many things of these uh, tenants of the law, the sections, the, the, the parts of the law. And I want to say, that was really good. We had people celebrated in Murana, people celebrated in Heldore, in Kapenguria, but we did not witness the lobbying of tear gas and the dispersal by the security forces. What happened that the dispersal by use of tear gas canisters happened only in Baringo County, in Baringo, specifically Cabernet. What is so important that only Baringo people are subjected to unfair treatment when it comes to fairness of democracy? The other time when we were discussing this bill at the county assembly, floor, parliament, they just deliberately threw tear gas canister to the assembly. We, it, we were just at the verge of being banned in the whole, all of the leadership of Baringo County Assembly, banned in the assembly. And up to now, as said by my colleague, no step has been taken, no report, no investigation. It just went and disappeared in the thin hair. That is our worry and that is our concern. We condemn it and we want to say Baringo people are entitled to peaceful demonstration. We know there is um, the, the COVID-19 protocols, but still you need to consider there are other functions and events which arises which you cannot control. The other day the president attended the passing out of over 7,000 NYS recruits and they invited their relatives and it was a big crowd. He also invited people to, to state house. He invited leaders from Kajiado, the Maasai County, and they were gathered in, in, in state house. So now this one, some of these things you have to, you know, to have a blind eye. Number two, as per the ruling of the five bench uh, I, I could judge yesterday, I want to mention that in the event that we will have an appeal by the president and uh, the handshake partner, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, we want to urge IBC to consider being independent. They should not be co-opted. They should be independent because they have a case to answer or to defend. Because part of the accusation was that an illegality happened through IBC. The verification of signatures was not justified, was not legal, because it was not, um, it was not complete house. The IBC commissioners were wanting. The quorum was not complete. However, IBC should not be used. This is an independent commission. They should not be used by the government to defend the irregularities and the, and the illegalities which, is, which has just happened by this BBI. Coming to Baringo, what we've been witnessing is just but the bullish behavior of Wafula, the county commissioner who has overstayed in Baringo. We know there are a number of times he's been earmarked for transfer, but the cartels and the key people in Kanu have been colluding with, with him, they have been going to the head office to counter the transfer. What is so special with Wafula? He's been telling us he's here for a mission. But I want to say, you will never be here forever. We were born in Baringo, and we will remain in Baringo. We've seen many county commissioners who have been here. Even during Moist time, when we had the regime of the dictators. But they have all gone. So we will remain here in Baringo. On the issue of Kanu, we want to request Kanu to stop their bullish behavior in Baringo. Baringo is ours. 
And by the way, the issue of going around marketing the name of leaders who have no ground at all will not go anywhere. That is a fact. Gideon Moore is not popular in Baringo. But if you want to market him, that is okay. And we want to wish him the best. But the behavior of his key peers and the leaders using the apparatus, the security apparatus, we know Wafula is following the instructions of some, some people next to Gideon. We know that. He's receiving calls. We know even today the instructions given to disperse the gathering were from part of those leaders. They have a team of 18 who are just there to propel and to manufacture propaganda to save names in phone numbers of, of people, leaders, and to malign and to, you know, to bring propaganda which destroys the, the name. But we know very well. In this era of computer, it is very easy to bring the name of Kimosop in a different light. Then you start writing your rubbish there. So my friend, we know what you are doing. We know the agendas you have. And I want to tell the public, we appreciate the work which Gideon is doing because he's the man in charge of anything belonging to the Kalenjin community in Kenya. They are saying we are in the negotiation table of the government. And if you are there, let these opportunities be employment, appointments, jobs for TSC, for KDF, let it be given to people. But the, the, the issue and the act of employing people, giving people employment in exchange of allegiance and support of GANU is not acceptable. You cannot just employ people and tell them the condition you have to support Gideon. That is forcing people against their conscience. You employ people, but why do you want to use those people? Mm -hmm. And you follow them further to be fighting in the keyboard to be foot soldiers, to be kutatea kitu all over. How will it be? We know that. Like in EO employment, let it go to the children of this country who are entitled. But you should not attach strings of support of Kano. And lastly, I want to say, uh, civil servants, you are here to serve the people of this country. And your, your code of contact refuses or abstains you from siding and moving with some parties or groups of people in the expense of the other citizens. Now, Wafula, the day you will be you will be transferred or when the change of government comes in, we never know who is coming in tomorrow. What about the person you are you are in support, you are colluding with the cause with the so called deep state to fight? What of if he takes the government? For example, William Ruth. He's been persecuted all over. It is known. What will happen if tomorrow you will be the president? Where will you go? There are those guys during the time of Kenyatta when, when Moi took over. They had to flee the country. Some literally drove from, from Nairobi or Nakuru to the border in Lukichogi and left their cars and went to Khartoum and went to Sweden. So be, be careful or prepare to run away when the next regime comes. Thank you very much.